Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Posh and today I'm here to do a beauty haul for you guys. This is more like a collective haul because some of the things I did get recently, some of the things I got maybe like a month or two ago. So I'm not gonna make this long. I'm so I'm not gonna go in any type of order. The first three things that I have, uh, well two of them are more like a re-up. And these are the LA Girl Pro Concealers and one is in Cool Tan and one is in Fawn. Cool Tan is what I use to highlight under my eyes and and the color fawn is what I use to conceal around my eyebrows. As you have to stay with these, I use these till the end. So I know you guys are tired of seeing my old rundown and use LA Girl Pro Concealers. I did pick up an LA Girl Concealer in the color Beautiful Bronze. I wanted to get one by LA Girl because I do plan on doing a whole LA Girl shebang soon. So I wanted to go ahead and get this so I will be able to use this when I do make that video. And I love these. Everybody should know about these at this point in time. Holy Grail for a lot of people. Very inexpensive, very pigmented, really good product. So if you don't know about it, now you know. One product that I did get from the beauty supply store is the Nika K Lip Shine. And I have a ton of these somewhere. And I just thought this was a pretty color. The name of it is called Matrix. And when I looked at it, when I seen that, it was really pretty. It reminds me of a liquid lipstick that I have by either BH Cosmetics or Nika K actually so it's very similar to that and I really really like it these lip gloss are $1.99 at the beauty supply store where I'm where I live and they're really pigmented they smell really good so you should guys try these out another re-up that I had to get is my JCAT Beauty Brow Dual Pencil I use this I this is it like this is what I use very Pigmented very good if you want a pencil that isn't $10, $15, $20. If you want to be able to have a pencil that rotates out that you can use on a regular basis. I like having different types of products. Like it's kind of like it's levels to this when it comes to makeup because you don't want to always use your Anastasia Beverly Hills or NYX. If you don't want to always use your higher end products all the time, this is good for every day. You, should, you guys should try this out. I think this is $2.99 at the Beauty Supply Store as well. And I use the color dark brown. Unfortunately, I bought two of these in the color brown. It's way too light, so I'm just stuck with three pencils. But dark brown is the color that I use. So, after I seen Bay, did a whole Wet n Wild haul, and I was like, oh my god, I didn't even know Wet n Wild came out with all these products. So, of course, I went to go try out the Wet n Wild products. Her name is Mia. I'll treat on YouTube. Go check her out. That's Bay. If you guys don't follow her, go follow her now. Her name is 24. In store, they had a lot of the products. Unfortunately, they didn't have the foundation in my color, but I did see a concealer. So, I did go and buy this concealer. This is the Wet n Wild Concealer, Photo Focus Concealer, and it is in the color, let's just take it out. I used it earlier. It is kind of light, unfortunately. I just wish they would have, you know, testers. This is in the color Medium Tawny, and this is really, 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 really light. I don't have the receipt. It was only like $2, so I'm not planning on taking it back. I'll just use it and make it work. I haven't used it. I mean, I used it today, but I'm not sure if I like it because I wasn't really focusing. I just threw it on just to see what it was like. I'm going to do a video and let you guys know if I actually really like it. We'll see. But mm, so far, $2.99. You really can't beat $2.99. So I'll let you guys know about this Wet n Wild Concealer. Since we're on Wet n Wild, I told you guys I went online and purchased the foundation and a highlighter and a lip stick and the in a, a liner <sighs> guys i'm so irritated because it took like 10 days five to ten days to get my wet and wild products mia told me when she ordered hers online it took forever and i got it in the can you guys see this yeah it's the wrong shape <sighs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I want to send it back because they don't they don't have any of these darker they don't have any darker shades at any of the stores where I live. I don't know what I don't know what the issue is. I don't come on now. Like seriously, wet and wild, please can you guys get this in store? Get so I can go 
I want to be able to use this foundation, but I don't want to have to send it back and take another 10 days to get it. Really upsetting because I did that with another foundation because online they don't really show true to color. Somebody say mocha this and mocha is that color and then mocha that and mocha is a different color. So you really don't know and it's really misleading and very unfortunate and sad because I don't want to wait 5 to 10 days for foundation. I want to. I would like to show you guys, you know, how it is. It's clearly too dark. So this was $10. I'm going to either keep it and use the drops that my teacher taught me about that would uh, lighten the foundation or something like that. But I'm kind of upset. Mocha is too dark. If you wear, I mean, if you wear the L'Oreal True Match and C7, any of the any of the Maybelline Fit Me foundations in 340 or 338, don't go mocha in the wet and wild. It's going to be too light. Like go to the store and see what the lightest foundation is. And then this is mocha. Kind of compare and contrast. This is not our color. But I do want to be able to use this. So we'll see what happens, guys. I don't know. Speaking of another foundation that I did get in a wrong color because you can't tell online what they really look like. And I've been waiting so long for this foundation, guys, because they don't have it in stores at all from what I can see. Black Radiance, guys. Ugh. This is the Color Perfect HD Mousse Foundation in the color Toffee. Now, in the in their foundation like this, I wear the color Mocha Honey. I, I don't know, guys. I, it's just hard. So if you're a C7 Black Radiance Foundation, the Mocha Honey, or the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 338 or 340, the Toffee in the Black Radiance Mousse Foundation is going to be too dark. Like, way, it's like not way too dark, but it's still too dark to the point where I can't really play with it or tweak it. And this foundation was also $10. <sighs> Staying on Black Radiance because I have it right here. I did order with the foundation the Black Radiance True Complexion Cream Contour Palette Medium to Dark. I have yet to play with this. I don't, I wanted to use it with the Black Radiance foundation, but as you guys can see, I can't really do much with that. So I might just go ahead and just do a review on this by itself. As you guys already probably have seen if you watched any of my videos recently, I got the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation and this is in the color Bronze and I have this on right now. I'm so in love with this foundation, bombbombbomb.com. This is $7.99 at my local beauty supply store. Not really sure how much it costs online because I got it from the store. And I love this so far. I'm probably going to go back and get another one just to have. I'm not really sure how fast I will go through this. I, hope I, would, I really hope I wouldn't go through it too fast, but you never know. I've kind of been using it every time I put on some foundation, so I love this. I was at Walmart, and I decided to try the Black Radiance Perfect Tone Matte Lip Cream. I haven't tried this on yet. I already started opening it, so I'm just going to open it because it's going to drive me up the wall. And it is in the color 5402. And I haven't tried this, like I said. But I can't wait. It kind of smells like paint. I can't really remember how much it was either. But when I do find out, I'll let you guys know. I'll put it in, in, the, in the description box below. Next, with my Wet n Wild purchase, I did get this Color Icon Metallic Liquid Lipstick in the color... Christus, Chris and the, um, 34732. <laughs> I have yet to try this. I, th I think it was like 2 or $3 and I wanted to try these. They actually have these in store as well. But I just went on and purchased it when I purchased some other products. So I can't wait to try this. Let's speed this up. So another re-up that I had is the NYX Pore Filler and I haven't had this in a very long time. I ended up using the, no, the Elf pore filler i mean that one's okay but i really used to really really like this so i just went on and bought this this is amazing guys if you don't have it uh it's silicone like very smooth 
you guys try this this is $13.99 I believe with the local beauty supply store and recently if you guys haven't seen I'm pretty sure you probably have the Nika K silky sticks that I have I purchased five of them I originally purchased three and then I had to go back and purchase two more because they were soap bomb.com I actually well I have a bunch of lipsticks on right now but I have one of them on now up under all of the stuff that I have on already these are bomb $3.99 a piece you guys should check these out at the beauty supply store they're very pigmented they don't have a scent very inexpensive very moisturizing and creamy definitely check these out guys next from wet n wow i got the mega liner liquid eyeliner in the color trim with lace i was gonna say white i got this because it was one dollar you know you just add little things on at the end and i've been wanting to do a white liner look so i did want to get this from my local beauty supply store i also picked up two highlighters from jcat beauty and they are in the you glow girls i have the pink goddess like why did i have to come back when i found i have the pink goddess and then i recently purchased the twilight they're both 6.99 very inexpensive this one has more like bigger glitters in it than the gold one does but i really like both of them from wet n wild again i purchased their mega contour stick in the color where's walnut that's cute and they also have these in stores maybe two or three dollars i haven't tried it as you can see it's still in the packaging when i do try this i'll let you guys know how i like it but i, I i'm glad i picked something that i hope i will actually be able to see but last but not least from my wet and wild rampage i picked up their mega glow highlighter and this was only a few dollars oh it's called precious metals so this is the uh last thing that i did get from everything and everywhere when i put this on i'll let you guys know how i like this as well but i do believe that is all for my haul i hope you guys enjoyed this haul and i'll see you guys in my next video bye